So, <clears throat> here we are with another weekend installment of um, Test Server, and I've skipped the past couple of weeks because uh, Pixonic has really not done anything uh, that I've really been interested in testing. They've just been, like, you know, tweaking things here and there. So the culmination of a lot of that stuff has come to this weekend. Uh, obviously, as you can see, they're still testing the Dash bots. Um, uh, they haven't really put names to them yet, so it's just uh, Mark 1 for the light, Mark 2 for the medium, Mark 3 for the heavy. However, we have some new weapons to test uh, this uh, this week, and uh, so I figured that I would do a little bit of testing just so you guys could kind of see where we're going with this, uh, where Pixonic is kind of looking at this. Uh, I've already uh, uh, changed my names, uh, all that stuff, so you can see that I've already changed all that stuff. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the, the bots that we're coming up with. So, my first bot is the uh, Dash Mark II, which is the medium, and this is the new weapon system that they have uh, put into place. Um, and, and as you can see, they've put uh, final textures on all of the bots uh so that pretty much means that the these bots are ready to go they're just doing a few final last minute tweaks uh and of course these new weapons they already have skins on them and everything so uh these weapons they came out of nowhere we have not tested these weapons this is the first time that we've seen them um so I'm not really sure uh, what Pixonic is doing, but they're kind of looks like they're kind of rushing things to kind of push them out. Uh, with that being said, though, uh, these weapons themselves they look pretty cool. Uh, I, I I definitely have to say that uh, they have a lot of really cool texturing to them, and they're definitely very unique. Not like anything that they that uh, they've created in the past, as far as visually speaking. Um, very cool looking uh, weapon. Uh, so let's take a look and see what the effects of this are. Uh, if I click on this, uh, it is just right now called the medium range prototype. And this is really the only one. There is no light, medium, heavy. It's There is a heavy prototype, but it's a uh, projectile weapon. Uh, it's the two, basically like the two heavy cannons. I've shown them to you in the past. I'm not really a big fan of them. Uh, they don't really seem to be that impressive to me. Uh, so uh, I didn't even bother putting them in my lineup this week. Uh, although they are available uh, for me to choose. However, the other thing this week that I noticed is they, they limited the amount of silver and gold that we were able to use. So after about my second or third bot, I actually ran out of gold and silver, which... To me, makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, they want us to test these weapons, but then they give us a limited amount of resources to do that, and it just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, so this new weapon, the uh, uh, the range on it is 400 meters, and at level 8, it does uh, just about 3,500 points uh, per hit, which is basically per second. Now, these weapons are an energy weapon, uh, so they're very similar to the Zeus and as you can see, a uh, medium-directed energy weapon that projects an, en uh, an energy arc automatically. It's when it's locked onto a target within its range. Uh, the arc target depends on the distance to the target and it increases. So it, it, it kind of combines the, the uh, theory of a shotgun versus uh, the Zeus. Kind of takes the two of them, combines them together... And then they added in the element of the fact that I don't have to push the trigger to fire these weapons. Once they come into range, they just automatically start firing. Now, the great thing about these is that there's no reload time on them, so it's very similar to uh, the mags, uh, where uh, you have no reload time on them. So, um, you know, we'll kind of we'll take a look at it and see where we stand uh, as far as those go. So, that's my first bot. 
and and remember too the 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 medium dash the mark ii has an ansile shield on it uh but because these weapons are energy based weapons the ansile shield will do absolutely no good whatsoever however because of that, I put uh, a Mark III dash in there as well, which is the heavier dash version. And uh, as you can see, the difference between the armor, 118K, 44 kilometers per hour with the dash. And then this one is uh, 149K, 39 mile, uh, kilometers per hour. So obviously, you know, difference in the armor versus the speed uh, between the heavy and the light. Again, weapons are still the same. They're all medium hard points. So, uh, with that being said, the next mech that I put in there was the Rogata. Um, I just put some uh, orcs on it. Uh, and then from there, I also put in a, uh, a griffin with two and pins because... Uh, the reason that I did that is because they are also still, they really want to go, they're really pushing this new missile dynamic, uh, which is that all the new missiles, with the exception of the Trident, all the missiles will now fire the same way that the Orkins do, so that they'll just have continuous fire and reload time while they're firing. Um, I'm not really a, a, a big fan of it, uh, I've tried it a couple of times already. Uh, and Gray, this is for you. Uh, on the test server, you can get the paint jobs for free, so I'll be uh, uh, testing out the coolest paint job for the Griffin there is. Uh, so with that being said, um, I did put these on. You'll get to see how the new missile dynamic works. Uh, so those of us that run Tumula and Pin Griffin setups, uh, myself, Rock, uh, Stone, I know he wants to get one. A couple of the other guys, I know Gray wants to get one too. Uh, this is what the future of this bot is going to look like, so just be aware of that. Uh, and then the very last bot that I put in was, I went a little bit old school here, and uh, I got a, a, a patty, which everybody knows is my favorite mech. However, I put the panadas on it. And the reason that I did that is because I want you guys to see uh, the fact that, uh, and yes, I got the... Uh, um, Viking paint job, uh, vampire paint job is cool, but I just don't like the colors, so I got this one instead. Uh, the Panadas, again, uh, new missile dynamic, so I want you guys to kind of see how effective this mech will be, especially against uh, energy uh, ansile shield bots. Um, this mech is now, I believe, and mark my words, today is the 5th or 6th of March, I don't know, what's today's date? today is the 7th of March, I will now tell you guys, if they change over to this new missile dynamic, this mech will be the new big mech. This will be the big uh, uh, new weapon, uh, the new trend. And the reason for that is because essentially what you're doing is you're taking this mech and you're turning it into a DB Griffin. You're taking a, a, a patty and turning it into a DB patty. And if you guys take a look at this, I mean, you know, the range is 300 meters on a Panada. 900 points per missile. And with that being said, there's 16 missiles. So you're looking at uh, uh, approximately 14,000 points of damage times 4. Uh, 14,000 points of damage times 4. So um, that's uh, 40, 50... Uh, 56, 66,000 points of damage, or 60, 56,000 points of damage, but uh, on the first hit, and then it's continuous fire after that. Um, uh, it's, it's quite impressive, so you guys are going to see how that goes. So, and the other thing is, too, that they changed the dash dynamic, which you're also going to see in here, too. Uh, as I normally do now, I've already played one full game to clear it out. So uh, you'll get to see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this patty down first so you guys can kind of see how this works. Hopefully uh, we'll get an opportunity to get a couple of rounds in. Um, but, uh, you know, uh... now the other thing that I did too was I had to really change my sensitivity because the uh, sensitivity is a hell of a lot different on, on, on the test server than it is on the... Uh on the real server, on the live server. I don't know why that is, uh, so I just turned it way down. Actually, 
you can look and see I have it turned all the way down on, on the live server I actually haven't even touched it I have it in the exact middle so uh, I'm not really sure what's up with that but yeah, let's see what we could do here helps if I actually hit my fucking target So this guy's got the right idea too. He's got a patty. So I mean, uh, even though I died, you can see how much damage I did to that guy pretty much right off the bat. Uh, oh, this mech can't make that jump. I never knew that. Well, that shows you guys that I don't play the Ragata. Um, so uh, as you can see, it's like carrying a miniature version of orcs. But, uh, because of the fact that you have so many of them, uh, it kind of makes up for it. So, uh, you know, I I'm telling you, mark my words, you guys are going to see that, uh, that new, uh, that new mech is going to be the, uh, the standard. I guarantee it. So, we're going to come over here and kill this guy. Yikes. Hmm. Kill this fury here. Unfortunately, this mech really... Uh, I mean, I know a lot, a lot of people are, like, super excited about this mech, but... I mean, and I have two of them now, thanks to the goddamn, um, uh, thanks to the, whoop, I'm gonna kill this guy now before I start to, look at that, look at that Orkin, look at, look at what it's doing right now, my left Orkin, that's weird, huh, that's weird, okay, so let's take a look at the dash bots, uh, so this is the heavy dash bot, uh, the new dynamic that they put for, like, the actual movement, I, I'm not really a fan of it. Watch, I'm going to hit it right now. You'll get to see how the dash moves. Uh, it's very uh, a very sudden movement. Uh, I am not a fan of it. Now, check this out. I'm going to close with this guy, and I'm going to get within 400 meters. And it just starts firing. Now, I don't know. I, I know that you guys probably can't hear because uh, this recording app does not record the game sound very well. However... Um, it sounds just like the Zeus. Now, see how it's splitting between the targets there? So I got two different targets that are within range, and even though I only have one highlighted, now I'm able to lock that. I never was able to lock that before. Um... Uh, the problem is it splits its targets. So, for example, um, I'm stuck. It splits between two targets, which I'm not a big fan of. It should, uh, what it should do is simply... Uh, stay on one target, but it doesn't. And that's really annoying, because if you're trying to kill one specific target, it doesn't actually kill the target. So, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, okay, well, that's the end of that one. So now this is the medium dash. A uh, little bit more mobile, a little bit more, uh, in my opinion, a little bit more versatile. The dash as you can see, has uh, less of a uh, re uh, recharge time. And the other thing that they're going to be doing, too, is they actually changed it so that you can use two dashes at once before it has to, um, before it has to uh, recharge, which I think is kind of, like, pointless. I, I don't really see the point to that, uh, to be honest. I think that... Um, I think that that's kind of a waste. 
I would rather see a shorter reload time. Uh, see, now I'm like melting this guy down. See, and at level 10, it really doesn't do a, a ton, a shit ton of damage. Um... I don't know. I'm not really a giant fan of this weapon and having it be automatic fire. The problem that I have with it is the fact that uh, it pretty much attacks its own whatever it feels like attacking. You have no control over that. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of that. So um, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the first video. I'll do three just to kind of give you guys an idea.